Finally, I will meet Liu Bei in battle. He has good eyes, that one. Like a dragon rising to the heavens. So, has the tiger of Zhang Dong finally met his match? <laughs> I don't think so. Let's go! For the glory of the Soon family! Though Wu and Shu have worked together to defeat the Wei forces at Chirbi, beneath the pleasant exterior of their relationship lay a heated rivalry for control of the Jing province. In the wake of the victory at Chirbi, Liu Bei had used the ensuing mayhem to set up a home base in western Jing, which Wu considered part of their territory. Soon Jian sent envoys to Liu Bei, seeking to regain the territory through diplomatic means, but they all be sent back empty handed. Antagonism towards Liu Bei grows within Wu's ranks, and to make matters worse, the Naman king Menghuo begins to make suspicious movements in the south. Reportedly, it is the Shu strategist Zhuge Liang who was pulling Menghuo's strings in order to cause distraction. Shu had been a dependable ally, but this is the last straw. In the end, Chu's sons cannot rise in the sky. Alright, so here's Act 5, The Fall of Shu. We triggered Act 5 being the Fall of Shu for allowing the Wind Prayer and the Fire Attack to occur. If we failed both, then it would be the Fall of Wei. But anyway, here's the Fall of Shu and the three stages for it. Race for the non-territory. Yeah. The Naman Campaign. And the Battle Yiling. And... Obviously, I'm going to go through all of them, so I'm going to start with the race for the non-territory and take it from there. So, here we go. Alright, so you ready to spiel? I'm going to go and change characters. And in the last part, for the fact that I cleared Act 4, I unlocked Lushun. If you didn't allow Gaoning to surrender at Shiako, then, well... After you defeat Gan Ning at Shiako and defeat him that way, and not have him surrender, then you'll also unlock Gan Ning. But I already unlocked Gan Ning because I had him surrender at Shiako. So, the only character I didn't play as yet is Lu Xun, that I unlocked. Obviously, there's two more characters I have to unlock, the Xiao sisters, but that won't happen for a while. So, with that being said, here we go. Alright, so the equipment, the weapon, we have Twin Savers at level 1. The items. The horse, obviously. Uh, I am shocked that I don't have the Fire Orb yet, but once I have it, I am definitely going to use it, especially with Lushun. So I'm going to use the Forper Orb just to play safe. Tiger Amulet, Taurus Amulet. The bodyguards are at 6, but I'm going to change it to spear. The objectives. Alright. So, this is similar to the campaign for Jing Province in the Shu story. However, it's more of a race. So, we have to claim and occupy Xiangyang, the Jing Province, and the Nan Territory. However, we can't allow Shu to claim all three. If we claim one of them, then after all three of them are claimed, we win. If Shu claims all three, then we lose and it's a game over. And obviously if Zhou Yu's defeated, if I die, or if we run out of time, we also lose. So, yeah. A little bit to take in and uh, understand for the first time if you ever played the game, but anyway, the unit info. The allied forces, you have Zhou Yu, Cheng Pu, Lu Su, and Lu Xun which is me, Zhou Tai and Jian Xin, Zhao Yun, Zhang Fei, and Guan Yu. For the Wei forces, you have Xiao Ren, Zhao Ho Dun, Zhang Liao, Xu Huang, Wang Long, Wang Chong, and Xiao Hong. And in order to claim the territories, you have to defeat Xiao Ren, Zhao Ho Dun, and Zhang Liao. So with that being said, let's do it.
surround the Nan territory. We will defeat Kalren and take this land. So the best way you want to do this is defeat Wang Long and enter the uh, the non is it the non territory? Yeah, the non territory, and claim that first. I saw that one coming. I knew that KO was going to be yoinked. So, and that's a vital thing. You do not want the KOs for Zhao Dun, Zhang Liao, and Zhao Ren to be yoinked by the Shu forces. That's a no-no. Because if you allow that to happen, then, well, you're going to be screwed if you allow all three to happen, obviously. My lord, are you hurt? Do not worry. This has given me a plan. I will withdraw for now. Yeah, let's wait for him to stop that attack. So far, so good. Goodbye. What magnificent strength! I was gonna say one down, but we have to defeat Sal Ren. I keep on forgetting that Shu Huang is one of those characters where you don't have to worry about it as much. So if you go up these stairs here and break the pot right here, you'll grab the Tim Sum. So we got that. I'll grab the Musa Wine a little bit later. But for now, I'm just going to go and... Should I wait until he gets over there? Hmm. Yeah, I might just wait. I might as well grab the Musa one right now and then take it from there. So the Musa one is right here. Now I'm gonna go and defeat Sal Hong and take it from there, then defeat Sal Ren. If that made any fucking sense. Holy shit. Anyway. Here's Sal Hong. You don't have to worry about him to an extent. I'm just trying to grab as much weapon experience as I can without getting fucking obliterated because I'm playing as a default Lushun. So that is going to cause some problems for me to a major degree for the fact that I'm playing at Act 5 stage with a default. It's not the best thing in the world, but I'm obviously changing characters left and right because, because that. I said I would. Anyway, so I defeated Sal Hong, and now I'm gonna go and defeat Sal Ren. Like I said, this is a massive bolt because if you allow Shu to claim all three, then you're fucked. As long as you claim one of them, that's fine. And I believe if you allow Wu to take the KO from you, that still counts for you claiming that particular territory. So it's not that much of a loss here, it will be perfectly fine. That way we have one of them. And if I fuck up on the other two, that's not bad. But as long as I get one, no big deal. Also, if you claim all three, that's one of the little objectives you have to do to unlock a particular ending for the Wu Musa mode. And I'm going to try to trigger all endings, but that's much later on after I complete every Musa mode. So that's just something I'm going to let you know I'm planning on doing. And he just got double attack, which is obviously not good because one Musu attack and I'm fucked. He is not using that fucking attack again. Oh, 
Alright, that's one down. Alright, let's find an elite god and defeat him. If I could find him. You know what, fuck it. Awesome. Alright. I did not know that pot was going to be there and have full health. So I'll definitely take it. Now I'll go to the left and defeat... I mean, there's only two people left. There's Zhao Dun. So I'll go for him next and defeat Zhang Liao afterwards. If you allow Shu to take any of the territories, obviously Zhou Yu will be pissed at Zhuge Liang. However, I mean, that's not a surprise there. But, uh, he'll say something along the lines of curse you, Zhuge Liang. But, uh, if you claim all three, then he's obviously thrilled about the situation. But, anyway, I'm going to try to claim all three because, well, that's just me being a, uh, a little personal achievement goal there for me. Alright, Zhao Dun is down. This won't happen next time. But yeah, I'm trying to trigger the best case scenario for everything, but if I can't and I fail it, that's not that much big of a deal. Because if they defeat Zhang Liao right now, it'll be over and we'll win. It's just that we didn't claim all three. And, uh... I just said before, but I'll say it again. Uh, if you trigger all three, well, if you claim all three, then that's one of the particular objectives you have to do to unlock a uh, particular ending for Wu. In each Musa mode, there's a particular criteria that you have to do to do in order to unlock that said ending. I'll go through all that once I do that, and. Uh, like I said, it won't be for a while, and it'll probably be after, if anything, after I complete all the Musa modes. Alright, we got all three. Awesome. And that's a win. Alright, so... It could have been much worse, but uh... It only took us 6 minutes and 31 seconds, I mean... It was a race, so it's not that much of a deal. Uh, I was not expecting the time to run out, and I have never seen Shu fall in this stage, so... Anyway... Items. I doubt we got anything good. Nope. And okay, okay. Wow. We didn't get any points for that. For the KOs. I'm not surprised because I was in a rush because I did not want Shu to claim any of them. Uh, if I allowed one of them, like I said, it wouldn't be that much of a deal. So we have a good 2650 points because of that. And that should send us to rank 14. Yep. Our weapon experience is 3,123, which will automatically send us to rank, well, level 3. And we'll have a good 2,877 more points to go to get to level 4. So, there we go. And now, our bodyguards are now at 7, their majors, and their class is at 5, and their level is at 4. So, that's that. Alright, we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part where we will take on the Namon campaign. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna like this one, but anyway, peace out.